What's going on YouTube? We're back at it for another video and today we're talking about the two new support weapons that we got with this recent major order. Fast tracked and delivered to us just to make sure that we could be able to take on the threats of that of the automatons and well I'll tell you right now one of them feels like it's helping us and the other one kind of hitting a different direction with that thing. But let's get down to the details starting off with the bad news let's start talking about that of the heavy machine gun. And when it comes down to the heavy machine gun there is only one good thing about this weapon and it is the fact that it will shred through enemies. You can destroy Hulks if you can land the shots on that faceplate in the center and you can also shred the heavily armored tanks in the weak spot with this weapon as well as basically being able to shred just about everything else on the automaton side of things with this weapon other than the heavy devastator shields if you can keep this thing on target because when it comes to every other aspect of this weapon it is straight up hot garbage things to start off with first we've got no reticle when it comes to our capability of being in third person or even hip fire so it will force you or what seems to want to force you into going into the first person aspect in order to aim down sights but even then the red dot is not going to showcase exactly where your next round is going to go and even the most controlled of trigger discipline is not going to be able to control the overall bouncing of where this weapon is going to lead its shots and start spraying in every different direction. It almost has a mind of its own and a heavy kick to it. In the words of Kentucky Ballistic, she be kicking. And I'll tell you right now, it almost feels like this is straight up out of the rule book of what the original Escape from Tarkov recoil pattern was like. With every single weapon, as soon as you pull that trigger, man, that thing is going straight for the roof. And then beyond that, we don't exactly have the deepest magazine with only 75 rounds per magazine that we have with this and... Just to put the cherry on top of it, it's going to take forever and a day just to reload this thing. It's not exactly the most ideal weapon, but I will tell you one thing. It is definitely one that I found to be one of the coolest weapons to use. Crazy enough, I had a good bit of fun with this after I used it for the first time and then decided to start utilizing it as something that I would just hip fire when I was playing in a solo match, just gathering footage for this video. As soon as I decided not to utilize the red dot sight and aim down sights with it and just decided to basically push up into the face and put that barrel directly on any one of those robots that I saw I just started to feel like Rambo. I tied that red ribbon around my helmet and I lit up a show in this jungle. It felt so good to start cutting through some of those machines and just barreling down with every round even if it was wildly going in every different direction and seeming like a blind fire that almost sometimes would hit and then in other moments it almost felt like the only reason I am hitting is because I'm trying to shove that barrel straight down their throat. But it was a good time. I will say I had a good bit of fun of it and this is definitely the truest definition of a meme support weapon right here. But in the coming future, I will definitely make a certain loadout for this one. A meme loadout just to have some fun with it after I did realize that it did feel like it had better control while hip firing from it. Even if I didn't have a reticle to basically aim with it. It was a little bit crazy. I think there might be something wrong with this. They may need to do some fine tuning on this weapon in order to bring it in line. I know it's supposed to be difficult to wield, but it feels almost impossible to wield at most times. But with a lot of skill and a whole lot of luck, you can have a little bit of fun with this one and definitely feel like real Rambo against that of the automatons. But now let's move on to the better support weapon that's come alongside, which is the Quasar Cannon, which some may call the new king of the rockets or the infinite eat 17 or in other words the infinite eat it with the quasar cannon we have an energy weapon that no longer needs the capability of reloading it will just need a cooldown of about 10 seconds to basically fire off yet another one of these eat 17s or effectively that is going to be the equivalent when it comes to what damage this is going to be dealing it doesn't exactly have the greatest blast radius and you will have to charge this up in order to fire it so it will take a little bit of skill and a little bit of accuracy to make sure that those shots are landed but overall it is one of those weapons that will be quite easy to control and more than likely a lot of people are going to be slotting this into their loadouts in the coming future it is quite resourceful as it will have the capability of one shotting some of those hulks if you can aim for that faceplate in the center otherwise it'll take about two shots on top of that it does also have the capability of one shotting a lot of the drop ships on the automaton side of things which can help diminish some of the troops that they will be landing in and being able to clear out some of those can be a huge help in those bot drop moments you will also be able to two shot just about every tank from any direction the greatest thing about the quasar cannon is you don't have to hit it directly in the weak spot it will be able to penetrate through the heavily armored sections of those tanks and still be able to deal the same amount of damage and within two 
shots, you will be finishing off any one of those tanks. It will also have the capability of one-shotting any one of the emplacements out there, including the mortars, the anti-aircraft, and the cannons on top of those of the commando bunkers, as well as having the capability of destroying all of the turret sentries that are on that of those command bunkers. It's not exactly the greatest when it comes to dealing with the devastators. I wouldn't exactly use it in that method if you're not aiming somewhere near their face or even in the case of shooting a heavy devastator if it does hit the shield it will block all of the damage so do try to just avoid using this towards devastators it won't be the greatest against them and to top it off when it comes to the automatons you will also be able to take down that of the cannon turrets with this from any different angle with just two shots and one more thing that it will be able to do against the automatons is going to be able to blow up those fabricators by shooting it inside of the vent now the Quasar Cannon will be beneficial when it comes to facing off with the Terminate as well. Basically everything that the E-17 or the Recoilers can do, the Quasar Cannon can do itself. So now we have the capability of one-shotting any one of those chargers, and you also have the capability of two-shotting any one of those bile titans that you may see as long as you're hitting it directly in the forehead. But do be aware it may take more than two shots if you're off even by a hair. Sometimes if you do hit just a little bit off, it'll take more than two shots, so you're going to need to be pretty accurate in order to make sure that you're getting it down in those two different rocket shots. Considering this is still going to take about 20 seconds to get done, considering you're waiting on every 10 seconds for that next shot, so sometimes the pair with this that is going to work fantastic alongside of it is going to be some of those stun grenades in order to keep those bile titans sitting in place and easy targets for you to just nail them twice and be able to eliminate them as quickly as possible and you will be able to close up bug holes alongside being able to two shot the shrieker nests which can go a long way considering we do have infinite ammo the quasar cannon is definitely going to be a very resourceful weapon it isn't exactly the most fun weapon to use but it doesn't feel bad to use at the same time it has a lot of uses to it and it is going to come in handy with a lot of different group combinations and i can see a lot of people having a good time with this and being able to wrangle in some of those heavily armored units and being able to get it done consistently considering they will have unlimited ammo i don't necessarily think this is going to fully replace the recoilless and that of the e17 as they will have their own place the recoilless will be a bit faster to fire than this and at the same time the e17 is always going to be one of those fantastic fast cooldowns whereas if you do have one of those moments with the quasar cannon where you do end up dropping it leaving it behind you're going to be waiting that full length amount of time in order to get another one and be capable of dishing out that same amount of damage but on the flip side if you do maintain keeping this weapon it will end up being something that will be a little bit more beneficial than that of the E-17 but at times you may want somebody else to have the E-17 while you have the quasar cannon that way you can work in combination to be able to take out some of these threats as quickly as possible and on top of that if you're facing off with the automatons if you've got somebody with the quasar cannon and then somebody else with the laser cannon you're going to be a dynamic duo that is going to be shredding through just about every automaton you both see from heavily armored all the way to the lightest ones those two working together is a powerful combination on any team that you may have but that's going to be it for right now that's everything that i've gathered from testing these weapons for just this first day i will be building out loadouts for each one of these one that's going to be the rambo meme loadout as well as just making something for the quasar cannon that's going to be extremely powerful for both sides versus that of the automatons and the terminated and i'll have those videos coming up over the weekend but do let me know down in the comments below how are you feeling about both of these support weapons how are you feeling about the quasar cannon what are some of your stratagem combinations that you may be throwing together for some of these and how disappointed are you when it comes to that heavy machine gun sadly enough it's just one of those weapons that just truly feels lackluster but at the same time has a lot of power that just feels unwieldable and it's just sad to see but let me know down in the comments below how you're feeling about it and if you'd like to see more content like this in the coming future hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to see some of this content live hit that link down in the description below follow me over to twitch we'll be streaming daily and on that note have a good one